I remember when I learned in school about gravity. It was so cool. I had a teacher that knew it all. She taught me how water could stick to a ball, how buildings stick to the underside of a ball that spins like a carousel ride. Man, it all sounded crazy to me, but I love learning about gravity. I couldn't wait to tell my dad about the amazing day that I had. He picked me up, I was bursting with pride. He opened up the door and I jumped inside. He smiled at me and said, how was your day? I said, Dad, I was blown away. I learned about this magical thing, but it's kind of got my head in the spin. I learned about this Newton guy. When an apple fell on his head, he surmised that there must be a force that's pulling it down. And everything's being sucked to the ground A force that sticks us all to this ball The people, the buildings, the oceans and all So it was written in history Newton had discovered gravity Well he just looked at me and said Don't believe in gravity to the kids. Well, my dad felt a little bit sad for me when I mentioned that word gravity. He said, have a little independent thought. A question what you've just been taught. I mean, how the hell could a ball that spins make a force so strong that sucks everything in? Yet birds and insects fly unaffected. Gravity must be so selective. Think about it logically, cause that don't make no sense to me. You gotta question all those preachers preach, question all those teachers teach. You see, gravity is just a bunch of bull. That Newton guy's just a lion fool. These guys like Newton shouldn't be trusted. Their free Masonic lies have been busted. In fact, my boy, it's density. And that's why things fall down, you see. An object always falls to the ground if it's heavier than the air that surrounds. If it's lighter than air, then it'll rise. It will keep on floating up to the skies. That's what's known as buoyancy. And that makes more sense than gravity. So let me tell you one more time, boy. Don't believe in gravity. to the kids.